everybody, welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. It's early Monday morning. I always like to do a happy Monday kind of vlog. It's funny, I you know, my the vlog schedule I have in my head is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But I end up doing vlogs every day. That's cause, like I said yesterday, I think in a comment, I, I just get bored some days. Try not to spam everybody. My intentions are not bad. <laughs> you dig it. Just got a fresh can of Bobby Bobby Blue. How do you do? You know that I love you. Cheers, everybody. So it looks like uh, the promotional copies of my new album, my new cassette, have all reached their destinations. Um, I've been getting notifications. We sent we sent some out to some essential people involved in in the, in the family. Um, some some reviewers, magazine reviewers who we've worked with before and stuff like that. So, yeah, I hope. I don't know. I hope people dig it. <laughs> I don't know. I dig it. That's all that matters to me. Um, yeah, so... Fuck, man. It's been really cool connecting with all these people. Like Oak Tree Dipper. Um, uh, Real Buff. Real bl or no, no Bluff Buff. Sorry, man. No Bluff Buff. Um... Louisiana Man 38, um, Bubba JR123. It's been really cool connecting with y'all. Thank you very much. Um, no Bluff Buff has a really cool channel. I've been checking it out. It's 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 kind of a mixed bag of stuff like like I do here. He uh, he does he does a little bit of tobacco reviews. He does uh, a lot of stuff on uh, trucking. I guess I guess he works in in the truck industry. Um, stuff about CB radios, um, but he does great videos, he does fucking amazing, dude, you do awesome videos, they're really well done, they're fucking, the editing's amazing, uh, I saw a great one when he, he went to his, uh, storage unit, uh, yesterday, to see how, how much the owner had fucked him over, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, no bluff, buff you, you seem like a really fucking nice guy man but uh you do a great you do an amazing channel you got great videos so yeah cheers man and oak tree dipper too uh he's he's also he does great reviews does uh does a lot of tobacco stuff um yeah it's great that's the beauty of, of like of uh when you comment and stuff and you know, people know who you are you can check out other channels that you didn't even know existed right like people find my channel that way like i'm a i'm a fucking small potatoes channel nobody knows the fuck who i am <laughs> i probably annoy most of the people who whose algorithms i come up in you know um but some people dig it you know and um so it's really cool you know it's I like I like a lot of these other channels if not f for if nothing but it gives me a glimpse into a piece of life that isn't my own you know um, I don't get out a lot I don't see a lot of the world anymore so you know when I when I go watch no no bluff buff I think he's in Texas um, the landscape is beautiful it it kind of takes me there you know. Um, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, Kawashai, when he, 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 I think, well, I think he's in England right now for a, a little bit. Um, but he, he, mo most of the time I've known him, he's lived in Japan. Um, and his videos, like he just does a lot of like short scenery videos and they, they're just amazing. It's like, I love waking up and watching a bunch of his videos, you know, cause they're only like a minute long. And they take me right to the place, you know. Um, and that would go for pretty much anybody who does a channel, you know, because it's a place 
it's a different place than, than, than where I'm at. And it's a different personality. It's like, it's really cool. It's really cool getting to know all you cats, you know? So, so cheers. Um, yeah, it's Monday. Uh, I wanted to, I wanted to talk, okay, somebody made a comment, Bubba JR, uh, made a comment that about, a very nice comment about, he said that I play the lap, lap slide guitar well, um, and thank you very much, uh, something I've been working on since the 90s, um, you know, when I learned how to play slide, I wanted, that's, when I first started to play guitar, that was really what I wanted to learn how to play was slide guitar, um, but there was no information for for me at the time. Uh, I was uh, I was eleven when I started playing guitar. Um, but anyhow, when I learned about open tunings in the nineties, that just blew my mind. You know, like it opened my world, and I learned how to tune to open G, D, A, and E, and and the minors associated. And I was just like, my mind was blown. You know. And uh, I could play slide guitar. It was really easy to do. Now, I used to um, I used to drink a lot, as I've said before. Um, and I used to have like I used to drink a lot on stage, right? And there's nothing worse than getting on stage and being too drunk to perform. Okay, it's very very embarrassing, and it's happened to me. Um, so what my rule was is. Okay, if I'm going to perform hammered out of my head, I have to rehearse hammered out of my head. So I would sit up in my studio and rehearse, um, drunk as fuck. Like I'd get a bottle of whiskey and I'd just fucking start drinking and, and rehearse. Like I'd get really drunk and I'd rehearse. And that was how I learned how to perform hammered out of my fucking tree, blackout drunk on stage was by doing it at home. Um, now, when I was playing slide guitar, because that's what, uh, a lot of what I was practicing and trying to play, um, you know, there's different ways of doing it. There's bottleneck style where you have it up in your lap. You have, uh, oh, I had one here. Right here. You know, you have one of these right on your finger. You know, you, 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 you know and that's how most, most people play. But, there is a lot of uh, people who play lap style where they just, the, the strings are, are raised off of the guitar a bit. Um, people often use resonator guitars for this or uh, electric lap steel guitars. I use an acoustic guitar with raised strings right now. Um, perfectly good way to do it. Perfect for me. Um, but anyhow, it's much easier to play when you're drunk. <laughs> Because you, you just have to sit there. and It's much easier to navigate. It's uh, <laughs> That was what I learned uh, when I learned. Because when I was learning that style of playing, you know, I was trying everything. Trying every tuning, every style. And, uh, and that style, being who I was, I was like, this is, this is, this is the way. <laughs> you know, so, so that's why I play lap style. Uh, slide guitar primarily is because I used to try to rehearse blackout drunk just so I could perform blackout drunk and that was the easiest way to do it <laughs> so pretty uh pretty lame story I'm a I've had a I've had some bad moments in my life <laughs> when it comes to drugs and alcohol but uh yeah but don't I don't condone that at all don't condone that life at all. Anyhow, um, it's Monday. I kind of crammed a bit of music in. Uh, I've been really into these double reed tremolo harmonicas uh, as of late, just from going through my collection. <clears throat> and I have a couple of these. These are, uh, this is a model called the Honor Celeste. Honor, Honor Celeste, I guess it's called, or Celeste or something, I don't know. But yeah, they're a nice, they're a nice tremolo harmonica, and you can get them in in C, G, and and D. So it's nice to have the different keys because uh, I play I play this thing my 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 dulcimer. This is a dulcimer strum stick, 
it's like a dulcimer you can play like a like a ukulele or a guitar um and this is tuned to to an open d chord so yeah it's all just fucking uh <laughs> physics of physics of notes physics of music cool thing about music i like i love music i always say music's the perfect art form because you can't hold on to it or nothing it's just there it's there for a moment you can listen to it again but in the moment it just it's not a, it's not a tangible thing it's not something you can it's not a painting that you can touch or look at it's not a sculpture <clears throat> or anything it's, it's just a fucking brief moment in sound you know it's, it's cool you know I'm not going to get too philosophical. Be well, stay free, have an awesome day, and I'm going to try to cook up a song for y'all later on. Have a great day. Shout out to all my people, and uh, best of all things.